Right, single sideband, different to AM and FM, where you're either on the frequency and you can hear it, or you're not on the frequency and you can't hear it, is it can sound a bit, uh, I don't know if you know the expression, a bit like a Dalek. You can either overshoot or undershoot. And I'll show you that in a minute. But first of all, just look at my screen here. It says 7183.3. Let me make all the numbers completely different. So we've got 57, there we are. 7183.57. But there's a zero grayed out. Do you see the zero grayed out? So the difference between seven and eight at the very beginning is seven megahertz and eight megahertz. So that's seven million hertz or eight million hertz. And sure enough, it is million because at the moment we're seven million one hundred and eighty three thousand five hundred and seventy hertz. That's what that radio is currently tuned to. It's grayed out because I don't like switching it on. It's too much granularity for me. So the grayed out zero is one hertz. The, the, the seven at the end is 10 hertz. The five, that's 100 hertz. And the three is 1,000 hertz. So if someone is on 183 and they said, I'm listening five up, normally that'd be 5,000 or five kilohertz because 1,000 is a kilohertz. Five up, you add five to three makes eight. So they're listening at 5,000 hertz up from 183. There'd be 188. So there's 5,000. It took me a while to understand what a hertz, what 10 hertz, what 100 hertz is, and so on. Now, tuning an SSB signal in, it can sound a bit odd. And I hear people making what I call, it's a basic mistake. For a start off, if they've never used the radio before, they do this. I can't hear anything, because they're overshooting it all the time. So you go a bit slower. Right, typically we're too low, we need to come up because you've got that grunchy, grunchy sound. And that's on the lower sideband. So on upper sideband, the opposite is true. Listen to this. If you look away from your display and start tuning, it's just starting to sound like a language now. Interesting though, what frequency is actually going to be on? I'm not looking at the screen. I reckon he's there. Seven, one. Oh, sure enough, he's a bit high. Do you hear that? That's more like it. Ten hertz away. Because... Sounds weird, that, doesn't it? As does that. So on the 40 meter band, which is lower side band, turning anti-clockwise takes the sound down and turning clockwise goes up. Listen. Right, and that's clockwise. On the 20 meter band, which is generally upper side band, the opposite will be true. So, but you can practice by or going to 40 meters, and if you hear a high pitch sound like this, you know to go anti-clockwise with a VFO. And then have a competition with yourself and tune it in by not looking. About there. Whoa! I'm cock on. That's the end of some net or other. All right, well, I hope that's been useful. All right. Some of the old timers here will be watching this just for a bit of entertainment and they might have some tips uh, down below. But AM and FM, of course, are very channelized. SSB has got this variable. I'm not going to go into any of the technicals basically because I wouldn't know even how to begin to explain it to you in English. Um, but there we are. Next video is here and playlist underneath. See you on the next one, guys. All the best now. Bye for now.